In this unprecedented year in education, I wanna to talk to you about a few ways that you can go from surviving to thriving in the classroom. And the first one is to learn how to protect your peace. When I think about protecting my peace, I first think about that feeling, that intuition, that feeling you get in your gut that lets you know if you should or shouldn't be doing something. So if I'm feeling overwhelmed, if I'm feeling like the day is too much, I wanna to remember to create space for myself. And one of the ways that I do that is I often hide somewhere in the building. Wait, what? Yes, I hide somewhere in the building and put on music. I put on my AirPods. I just listen to music and I get work done. Then I'm getting something done. I'm vibing out with my music and I'm separating myself from the madness that can sometimes be happening in my school. And that allows me to show up to class on an 11. I'd rather show up to class with a lesson plan that's a six and I'm on an 11, then vice versa. I also cut time out for myself during the day when I need it. I might go for a coffee because the $3 purchase is worth the seven minute round trip to me. I'm known for eating lunch with my students twice a day. And sometimes I just say no. I put a sign on my door and I say, Mr. Reynolds is not open for business today. Because by investing in myself, by pouring into my own tank, I can then give more to others when they do show up. So in what ways can you listen to your own intuition more? And what can you do for yourself so you can be the teacher that you always dreamed of being? And just as a reminder, join us January 22nd for the priority the You in Us workshop that'll take place on HMH's Facebook group. Peace.